Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to talk about simplifying fourth roots. So the fourth root of 32 simplifies to 2, fourth root of 2. Well, how do we get this answer? Well, let's first start by getting ourselves familiar with perfect fourth roots. So what is a fourth root? That's when we multiply, let's say 1, four times. One times one times one times one. Well, that's one. What about two? Two times two times two times two times two. That's 16. And the same thing, if we multiply three together four times, we get 81. So we're only going to look at the first few because they get big very, very quickly. Now, this is when we raise something to the fourth power. What if we go backwards and we have this answer over here, this left column, and we try to figure out, well, what do I multiply together four times to get that? And that's your root. So you can see these are just reversed. So get familiar with those first four or five or ten. So how do you simplify one that's not a perfect fourth root? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to create a factor tree. We're going to start with the fourth root of 48. So I'm going to start, and because 48 is even, I'm just going to divide it by 2 because that's nice and simple. So that's going to give me 2 times 24, but then 24 factors to 2 times 12. And again, 12 is a nice even number, so let's just divide it by 2. We get 2 times 6, and 6 is again even, so 2 times 3. Now 3 is my, the last number, and it's prime, so I can't go any further. Now, anytime you have fourth roots, we need to come up with groups of fours in factors. So our factors are 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. So I do have a group of 4. So I'm going to circle my group of 4. So really, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, that's 16. Well, if you go back to your chart, 16 is a perfect uh, fourth power. So we're just going to simplify that to 2. So we're going to simplify this to the 2 on the outside, because that's the perfect fourth root. And then this 3, it doesn't have any partners. So I'm just going to write that as the fourth root of 3. Now, if you have more than one factor left that doesn't have a partner, you just multiply those back together. OK, so the fourth root of 48 is 2 fourth root 3. Now, let's try fourth root of 405. 405 is not an even number. It's an odd number, but we do know it's divisible by 5. So let's divide 405 by 5, and let's see what we get. That's 881. Okay, now 81, of course, is not prime. Um, it is divisible by 9, so let's divide it by 9 and 9. Okay, two nines. Both of these will factor yet again to 3 times 3. So I've created my prime factors. My prime factors are 5 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, and I have my group of 4. So there's my group of 4. I can then take it out. So that's going to be 3 fourth root of 5. And that would be my final answer. Now let's look at one more. This one is the fourth root of 768. Boy, that one's not real simple. So I may grab a calculator just to help me out. Um, it's clear. And take 768. Let's just divide that by 2. And that's going to give me 384. And 384, let's divide that by 2. That's going to give me 192. So that's going to be 2 times, let me go back up, 384. And then 2 times 192. Okay, 192 divisible by 2 is, what's that going to give us? I think 81. Oops, 192 divided by 2. Oh, 96, and 96 divided by 2 is 48, 
and 48 divided by 2 is 24. Then 24 divided by 2 is 12. And 12 divided by 2 is 6. And then 6 divided by 2 is 3. Wow, that's a long list of factors. But let's group them. Okay, since we're doing fourth roots, we need groups of four. So let's circle these. One, two, three, four of those. So that comes out as a two. Do we have a second group of four? One, two, three. We do have a second group of four. So I'm going to bring out two twos, but then this rat three doesn't have any partners. So this is just very simply going to simplify to two on the outside times a second two because those two were my groups of four and then fourth root of whatever is left. In this case, I only have one factor left, and that's three. Now, if I had more than one factor, I would just multiply those together. So let's multiply this out, and that's going to be four times the fourth root of three. And that's how the fourth root of 768 simplifies. I hope this video has been helpful and finding fourth roots.